Hey guys, it's QK Tick, and today we're going to take a look at the Asus ZenBook UX305. The UX305 is one of the best ultrabooks that you can get on a budget. Uh, it's also called the MacBook Air knockoff. It's called that because not only is it slim like the MacBook Air, it also resembles the Air. So if you have a MacBook Air, you would probably notice similarities right away. Both are incredibly thin and light. The Air weighs 2.96 pounds and it's 0.66 inches thick. It was astonishing when I first got the Air. It was kind of unbelievable that they could make a laptop this thin and light but the UX305 is much lighter at 2.65 pounds and yeah you'll notice the difference it's also 0.48 inches thick making it slimmer than the air it really surprised me that a laptop like this could be so well built and be light and thin much thinner and lighter than the air though it doesn't compare to the air and it shouldn't the two laptops are different and they both have their ups and downs but the UX305 is hands down the most affordable and best ultrabook on the shelf. Right now it's priced at $699, but when you compare it to others like the Dell XPS 13, which goes for $799, or the MacBook Air, which goes for $999, or the Lenovo Yoga, which goes for $1149, the UX305 is definitely well priced. Right off the bat, I could already tell that the keyboard was going to be amazing, and it is. It's spacious and incredibly responsive. I type a lot, so keyboards have to feel right. Not having a good keyboard can ruin the experience, and this one definitely does have an excellent keyboard. Though, be aware that it doesn't come with keyboard backlighting. The touchpad is well-sized at 4.1 by 2.9 inches. It has two-finger scrolling and pins to zoom, which is very common nowadays. And it's very responsive and not too overly sensitive. On other laptops, I found that a lot of times when I'm typing, my mouse tracker would jump out of nowhere, and that's because the mouse pad can be a little bit too sensitive, whereas this one is just about right. The UX305 comes with a 998 MHz Intel Core M35Y 10C processor. It might feel sluggish. It doesn't compare with the Core i5 or i7, but overall it runs pretty smooth. Especially if you overclock, then you'll almost never run into issues, but I rarely tend to overclock my devices. I feel like it shouldn't be needed. It comes with a 256 gig SSD, which might be okay for some people. That's on the low end for me, but I have external drives, so it's okay. It has three USB 3.0 ports, one SD card reader, a micro HDMI port, and a headset jack port. For such a thin laptop, I was thinking that they might not include all of these ports and they might compromise, but I was surprised that they had included all of these, so thank you. At the top, you have a two megapixel HD HD webcam camera taking 720p videos at 30 frames per second. It's not too high end, but it is usable. The display is pretty great, but it's not the best. It has a 13.3 inches 1920 by 1080 IPS display, and it's a great display for an affordable laptop. Everything just about looks sharp most of the time, but a few times things tend to look blurry and the auto brightness goes out of control randomly, brightening or dimming the screen. I'm not too fond of the matte screen, but it gets rid of the glare and the reflectiveness, so I guess that's a plus. I love to watch movies and shows or spend hours on YouTube, so if you're like me, then the quality of the screen might not be the best. Though I do spend a lot of time writing, working on spreadsheets, and for doing work, this is a great display. And I use this laptop mostly for work, so this is fine for me. Audio. Yeah, this was a huge disappointment. This is where you might want to consider testing the laptop before you buy it. If I had to choose one word to describe it, it would be awful. The UX305 has speakers right underneath the laptop, one on each side. And the audio is underpowered, low end bass, and sometimes I can barely hear the audio, even though I have the volume up high. I always have to hook it up to external speakers or carry around my earphones which I pretty much always have with me. Heating can be a make or break, but the Core M processor makes this laptop fanless, which means that I don't have to be interrupted by annoying noise. Though the downside is that it does heat up constantly, for example when I'm just browsing and not doing anything else. However, you'll only ever feel it right above the keyboard, right along the edge between the keyboard and the display is where the heat comes out though I was looking for it, so you'll hardly ever notice that it gets hot. The battery life is what I was expecting it to be, maybe a little bit under than I thought, but it comes in around six and a half hours if you're using it lightly. For me, it lasts around five hours because I have a lot of things running, so don't forget your charger. If you're a hardcore gamer, this laptop is not for you. With the Intel HD 5300 graphics, lower end games are fine, but it lacks the necessary power for higher end games that demand more.
Games like Minecraft, which don't require high-end settings, would work for you, but don't expect it to run Assassin's Creed or Dying Light on highest settings. Okay, right off the bat, the UX305 has one of the best designs. It's entirely made of aluminum. The surface feels amazing. When I'm typing, my hands aren't sliding all over the place. This is a solid piece of anodized metal, meaning it's less likely to corrode and it's more durable. If you can see at the top, there are circles. This panel uses a radial pattern, which makes it look pretty slick and it makes the logo sort of pop out. The bottom also has a solid piece, but something very interesting are these two rubber stoppers. Basically, it'll lift the bottom as you push the screen back. It's a pretty cool feature and I didn't realize until after I got it. Overall, it looks amazing, clean, and it's super attractive. It might not be the highest end Ultrabook, but it's definitely something powerful that's affordable. I edit all my videos, do all my work on this laptop. It's become my daily work laptop. Again, this was the Asus UX305. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video, Check out some of the other ones. We have the Lumia 950XL. We have the Echo and Continuum for Lumia. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this Ultrabook by commenting below. And if you have any questions for me, this was QKTIG and I'll see you guys in the next one.